next we're going to be working on the lily buds that are in the background. So I'm going to go back to my shader brush. Actually, I'm going to switch to a quarter inch brush, the same shader shape. You can use the bigger one if you don't have a smaller one. So I'm going to take some white paint, and you can see how they're a nice greenish color. So I'm going to take some of the green and a little bit of our yellow and mix those together. That's a little dark, so I'm going to pull a little more white into there. Okay. Then I'm going to rinse my brush out, dry it on my paper towel. Okay. Let's start painting these. So we're going to go right up to the edge of our flower. And I'm going to fill in this whole bud. We're not going to do any shading on it yet. We're just going to get our base color in there and then let that sit for a minute. Okay, let's do all of these buds. Fill into the pencil lines. We're going to leave the stems alone because they're a little darker, so we're just not going to do those yet. We'll paint this one over here, all the way to the edge. Take that one. Okay, just rub a little more paint. You can get a nice crisp edge with these angled shader brushes. They're one of my favorite kinds of brushes. You'll find as you paint more that certain brushes will just stand out. I kind of ran out of paint, so I'm going to just mix a little bit more. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, there's this one little guy in here. If you go outside the lines a little bit, don't worry because we're still going to have to paint our background color around this. Okay, so that's it for stem, for our buds. We'll do the stems next. So that's going to be basically the color we use, but we're going to pull a lot more green into that just so it's darker. Okay, then I'm going to take that color and paint my stems. You can kind of just work that up into your bud, just like that. Follow it all the way down to the flower. Okay, same thing with this one, just a little bit. I got a little bit on my white, so don't worry. With acrylic, it's very forgiving. You can just paint over that. Okay, no problem. Mistakes happen. The nice thing about this is you can go over it. If you make a big mistake, you can let it dry and then go over it, too. Let's get all of these stems. And follow that up into our flowers. Okay, I'm going to paint the stem down, also. That goes all the way over around this flower. Cover your pencil lines. If, you're, if you find that some white is showing through as you paint, that means your brush is getting a little dry. So dip it in your water, dry it off a little bit because you don't want it to be running down. If you're running out of paint, mix a little bit more. See, I went a little too light with that, so I'm going to add a little more green into there. Okay, let's paint that step. See, now it's not leaving those white spots because it's a wetter brush. Okay. The same color is going to work for the leaves, so I'm going to start painting all of those in. And you can make slight variations with these, but if you have to mix new paint and you paint one leaf a different color, it's not really going to matter that much. That leaf was in front and wrapped around this stem. We're going to shade that later, so don't worry about that. Just paint. Just get your green on there. Okay, there's another leaf behind here. Take 
this one, follow it right up to the edge. Okay, keep going, doing your leaves, covering up those pencil lines as best we can. Another leaf down here. Okay. It's looking good so far. You have the basic shape here, but it doesn't really look have much depth to it yet. So we're going to have to add some shadows and highlights onto these so that the leaves look three-dimensional. Just like we did with our lily with shading the inside of that. So once we finish having this done, if you look back at your reference picture, you'll see that there's some lines on these buds. So I'm going to switch to my smaller angled shader, or you could even, or you could use your spotter brush if you want. But I kind of feel more comfortable with the angled shader. I'm actually going to switch to an even smaller angled shader, a one eighth. But use what you have, and I'm going to take this darker green that we were using for the leaves. And I'm going to add little seams onto these buds. Just like that. Just drag the edge. And then I'm going to dip in my white. And I'm going to mix that with a little yellow. And I'm going to add a little highlight on the bud over here. With that. And you can add some more of your base color if you want. If it ended up a little thick and you don't like how that looks, just go back and just thin the line down. It's easy. It's not not too hard to do. And I'm going to add a little of this yellow and white color on the edge of this flower. There, just where it sticks up. Okay, we're going to work on each bud like that. I'm going to take the darker color, paint our little... Oh, see, that's what happens when you have a little too much water on your brush. You just work that out. Okay. Then I'm going to add my highlight, the little white and yellow, onto this part. And a little more there. Okay, and we're going to paint our seam. I'm going to go a little off center with that one. And add our highlight on the top, because our sun, our light source is coming from the top. It's always important to pay attention to where your light source is. And I'm going to take just a little white, throw that on there for a little more highlight. You can kind of, these angle shaders are meant for blending like that. They're good for adding shadows and highlights. Then I'm going to add a little highlight to the top of this bud. And then I'm going to add that darker green. As my seam. Okay, then you give it a look, see if you want to add anything else to it. This one I'm going to add a little of the darker green on there because this one's a fresh bud, so it's still a little dark. Okay, I'm going to add a little more yellow to this one, the very top. Okay, so we did that part. Then I'm going to add a little bit of shadowing to the leaves. So I'm going to take my straight green and I'm going to take a little bit of this sap green. You could add a little blue to it. You're just going to try and darken up your green a little bit. I'm going to put that out. We don't want to go black because that would be too dark. So I'm going to take the sap green and I'm going to mix that with some chromium green just to get our shadow color. If you had a Payne's Gray, you could also do something like that. So then I'm going to add the shadows onto this so that it looks like this stem is coming through. You're going to want to emphasize where that stem goes into there. Okay, That's still a little light, so I'm going to add just some pure sap green. Then I'm going to add some shading to this stem. Make that a little darker so it stands out. Okay. 
guy. So we're just adding some depth to this so it doesn't look so one-dimensional. Okay, since this leaf is sticking down here, we're going to have to shade the bottom of this leaf with our sap green. And then I'm going to take some white and add a highlight to the top of the leaf. Just like that, so that it looks like it's three-dimensional. Okay, you can even use some yellow. I'm going to do that on this one, because this one's sticking up here. So that part's catching all the light. And then take some sap green and shadow the bottom of this one. Then we're going to do this leaf, highlight, a little low light under that. We'll have and keep going on all the leaves. There's one sticking down here. I'm going to add a little white and a little green here where the stem's sticking through. The sap green. And just keep working these. You add, add your low light, add some highlight. Keep doing all of them. In some parts it's shading itself, so if you look there's a little bit where the stem is shading this leaf. We're going to do that. This leaf's pretty dark because it's under the lily. I'm going to add a lot of sap green to that one. You always start with your base color and then just build from that. Okay, this one's going to have it's dark on the end. And I'm going to throw a little bit of our yellow and white mix. In this part. But look at your source picture, see where it will need it. So we're basically just highlighting with our green. This is going to have some dark too, because these are all under the lily. These are lighter in the back because the sun's shining from that angle under them. Okay. Let that dry a little bit.